Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter where it's all about making better videos. This is another Around the Studio episode. Today we're gonna talk about the Corporate Video Guide, where I'm at. We're also going to talk a little bit about this DIY panel that I was making and what changes I'm gonna make. So first let's talk about the Corporate Video Guide and where I'm at on that guide. If you don't know anything about it, check out this video, you'll get caught up to speed. Corbin and I finished shooting, so that's great news. Now I'm just editing. I've been editing for quite some time, and um, it's a monster project. Also just had my son, for those who are wondering, on the 22nd of January. Mom and baby are doing great. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get that done, and um, I'll keep you guys posted. I was hoping to have it done by the end of January, but uh, that's just not gonna happen most likely, so I'm hoping February. I do want to talk about the outline for it. We broke it into five sections. So section one is all pre-production. Everything you need to do before you hit record, before you show up on set. Really, really important stuff. Section two is production. We'll talk about the gear we use, and I'm, I'm really enjoying this one because it's refreshing to have someone else's viewpoint. Um, so I usually do these guides by myself. Corbin's obviously with me on this guide, so we get to see um, the differences in what we use, um, how we use it. So in that section, section two, which is about production, we'll actually set up an interview setup and uh, go through everything involving actually shooting, talking about conducting interviews, asking the right questions. We'll even do some makeup, which is fun. Uh, section three is post-production. So we'll look at some of Corbin's work. Um, we'll go through kind of an editing workflow, color correction. We'll talk about ingesting media, hard drive, workflows, all that good stuff. In section four, we talk about business. And I really am excited about this section because I learned a lot, was really inspired by it. And we had Corbin bring on his bookkeeper. So we talk about the business side of things, keeping on top of your income and expenses, things like how to know when you can buy a new camera, um, things you need to be thinking about if you're getting started as a production company, as well as if you already have been doing this. Great section, really excited about that. And then in section five, we do an appendix or an FAQ. You guys, I asked for questions from you guys. You guys hammered us with a ton of great questions. So what I couldn't fit in the first four sections, we put nice and neat in the final section, section five. So we'll go over several categories like business, projects, the actual production, dealing with clients, um, just a ton of great questions. So I'm really excited about that section and uh, we're gonna get really specific. That is kind of an overview of the guide. I'm gonna get back to editing it here in a second and get it out to you as soon as possible. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about this do-it-yourself LED panel that I wanna make uh, or have been building. Let me pull it up here for you. Ugh. It is a monster. You can see I haven't quite finished you know, putting all the strips on it. Um, I was inspired to do this by DIY Perks. He has a great video that I'll link to where he talks about how to make a video LED panel from scratch. There's a couple things I would have done differently if I was starting over again. Um, and I'll get to that in the actual video that I'm gonna put up. First problem I had was the variable um, circuit that I was using died on me, which is really sad. So it worked for a while. Um, but I decided that I'm pretty happy with the lights I have that I've been using in the main studio, the Flex LED and the Alzo. And what I really need when it comes to LED lights are smaller form factor lights, kind of like the one that's behind me that's giving me this hair in uh, kicker light. So I want to make two or three small lights and uh, you'll notice in the framing of where we are right now, I'm in the editing suite and I'd love to use this space more for videos. So you guys just don't see me all the time over in the main shooting space. So you can see the background's really dark. I'd love to brighten that up with some smaller lights that I can use around the studio. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing is taking these strips on the one that I just showed you and building a couple nice small ones that I can use anywhere. Stay tuned for all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, comment, let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. And as always, baby pending, you can watch new videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.